Jacob had many sons, and Joseph was his favorite. Joseph's older brothers were envious of him, and one day plotted to kill him. However, they changed their plans and instead sold Joseph to a band of Ishmaelites who were traveling through the area. When the Ishmaelites arrived in Egypt, they sold Joseph to an Egyptian royal official. Joseph impressed his master and was appointed his personal attendant. Unfortunately, Joseph's troubles continued as the official's wife falsely accused him of betraying his master. The accusation landed Joseph in prison. God always had big plans for Joseph and never gave up, even when Joseph was enslaved and in prison in a foreign land. While in prison, Joseph met the Pharaoh's cupbearer and interpreted the man's dream for him. Two years later, the cupbearer was out of prison and once again in Pharaoh's service. The ruler had a particularly puzzling dream, so the cupbearer recommended that Joseph be called upon to provide the interpretation. Joseph told Pharaoh the meaning of the dream. Egypt would have seven years of prosperity followed by seven years of famine. Joseph advised Pharaoh to put a wise and prudent official in charge of all the grain production and storage in the country so that surplus grain could be stored for seven years and then parceled out when the famine hit. Pharaoh decided that Joseph was just the man for the job and gave him responsibility for all the nation's granaries. Famine hit the entire Mediterranean region, just like Joseph foretold. Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt from Canaan to ask for food, not knowing that their younger brother was a high-ranking official in Pharaoh's court. Eventually, Joseph revealed his identity and invited his brothers and their families to move to Egypt so that he could provide them with the sustenance that they needed. God continued to work in the life of Joseph through all the challenges and adventures, and that work paid off. Through Joseph, God was able to protect and sustain the whole world during the time of famine, and to watch over, in a special way, the descendants of Abraham and Sarah, who would one day become a great nation. <laughs>